So I'm here in my classroom just before school starting up. Already went for a run this morning. There's some morning activities going on. That's what the noise is in the background. But yeah, this is the classroom here. And a lot of people ask me, do you have to speak Thai to teach English to people? No, actually, they really don't like ESL teachers in general around the world to actually speak the foreign language or to speak the native language of the students. It's much better, especially if you're teaching like high school or you know med medium to upper level students, to speak English. You know, really make them really try to uh, be immersed in the English language. You know, I only use Thai. Either one, if it's like a joke, like if I'm, or if I'm talking outside of class, you know, with some students, and I'll speak a little bit of Thai just to show them that I'm trying to learn their language too. Or, you know, if I really can't explain something, then I might use a little bit of Thai. But I really always try to speak English if possible. And you don't need to speak Thai. So if you think, oh, how do you, I, I don't speak Thai, so I couldn't be an English teacher in Thailand, you don't need to speak Thai. So I'm gonna stop talking over this. Uh, activity that's going on this morning, and I'm gonna go drink a banana smoothie, and I'll catch you later. Had Penang curry for lunch, one of my favorites. Gotta ask for it to not be spicy because they make it pretty spicy. And take out the little leaves, they give you those inside. They're not really uh, that edible. And a coconut drink over here. So the best thing that could have possibly happened, happened. Right as I was leaving school on my bike, it just started pouring rain just and now I'm totally soaked I've got like mud stains on my like white pants beautiful Thailand rainy season I've got some mud guards that I need to put back on my bike because uh, it's rainy season now and of course now that I've got home it's not raining anymore Looks like it's gonna clear up. Oh well, uh, it happens. TIT, this is Thailand. Awesome. That looks so good. So I'm just arriving at the pool. Gonna get a swim in with Payat and his sisters. Get a little group swim going on, get ready for the triathlon. Should be fun. Back home after a good swim session, did two and a half kilometers of swimming. Uh, four of those were 200 meter time trials was swimming with Payat and his sister Pim. He's got another sister, but she didn't show up today. And uh, yeah, it was good. We're all gonna do the Huahin Triathlon coming up uh, August 16th, 15th, something like that. So we're all training together, and uh, now on my way home, got some Pad Thai, and I've got some leftover durian from last night. I just threw that in the fridge, so I'm gonna have some durian and then Pad Thai for dinner tonight. So I was really full last night and I didn't finish this. I could have stuffed it in and been really uncomfortable and not enjoyed it, but I didn't want to do that. I wanted to save it and then really savor this last pod of durian for tonight. Particularly over longer events. Also use it to try and get into the most aerodynamic position possible on your bike. GCN. Love this channel. Love Global it. Cycling it's Network. Pad tie. Amazing. That was yummy. Really liked the durian. Pad Thai was, eh, it was okay. It was okay. Hadn't had Pad Thai from that place before. Um, yeah, I've had other things from that restaurant that were better. But um, yeah, durian was really good. 
I kind of like cold durian every once in a while, you know, it's cold in the fridge from uh, being there, you know, since last night. I kind of like the cold durian, it's, it's nice, I don't know, I don't know, it's good durian though. Today's Thursday, tomorrow's Friday, that means weekend's coming up, and um, I don't know what I'm going to do this weekend, but I'm going to go somewhere, you know, go on some epic bicycle adventure, probably go to Bangkok maybe next weekend, probably go to Bangkok one of these weekends, go hang out there. Um, but yeah, looking forward to the weekend, get some adventure happening, switch up the vlog a little bit. I've been going to school every day. That's that's my life. That's the story of my life right now. You know, I uh, obviously do not have enough views to be making a living off YouTube yet. But uh, one day, that'd be nice to make some decent money off YouTube. But uh, it's not really the main reason. I, I enjoy making these videos. And uh, I like getting the message out there. But, uh, you know, right now, I can live in the tropics, eat fruit, ride my bike all year round, have sunshine all year round. And the way I can do that is by teaching English. So that's what I'm doing. Um, and that's why, if these vlogs seem a little repetitive, then that's life. But hey, 99% of the people living in the world have pretty repetitive lives anyways, so... Um, I don't know. I guess I'm just trying to work on the filmmaking skills. You know, I should be able to keep it interesting, right? It's not about, like, I'm doing different stuff every day. Every day is different and interesting. And, I'm, you know, forcing myself to improve. I'm trying to make these vlogs as interesting as possible. Some days are going to be better than others. But, uh, yeah, if, like, I'm really interested to just hear what you think. Like, get, post your questions, comments down below if you want me to do, you know, cover any topics and or do anything in, in videos. Let me know. And, um, yeah, thanks a lot for watching, you guys. I'm going to uh, edit this video now, call it a night, and I'll see you tomorrow. Peace out.